Let's start with the theorem 10.1. The tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. This theorem I am going to prove now. So what are the things given here? That first draw a figure. The radius is perpendicular to the tangent through the point of contact. That means what are the three things given to you? One is tangent. Another one is radius. Another one concept is point of contact. These three things are given to you. So, draw the figure like that. X, Y is tangent. O is center of the circle. And P is what? P is point of contact. Okay. First write any theorem you are going to prove. Before that, you have to write given to prove and prove part. Okay. Given what is given? X, Y is tangent P is point of contact O is center of circle ok then to prove what you have to prove uh, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent through the point of contact here what is the radius OP and what is the tangent XY. So I am going to prove OP is perpendicular to XY. Okay. Then prove. Here yeah, what you have to do. To prove that OP is perpendicular to XY. I have to choose a point on XY which must lie outside of the circle. That point you have to be careful. Choose a point, suppose I am marking Q, okay Q, that is lie on XY which is outside of the circle. These are the two points you have to remember. So, write like that. Choose a point Q must lie outside of circle. But on XY line. Okay. But lie on XY. Now you check that. OQ which is greater than OP distance. See why? Q is lie outside of the circle. Therefore, that OQ distance is bigger than OP. Because OP is radius. OQ is outside. That Q point is outside of a circle. Therefore, OQ is greater than OP. So, right here, OQ distance which is greater than OP. This is first equation. Like that, one more point you choose on XY and show that that distance also greater than OP. So, I am choosing one more point that is suppose T I am marking on XY. Choose a point T on XY that must lie outside of a circle. Choose a point T must lie outside of circle but on XY. So now you compare OT and OP. OT distance is greater than OP. So right here OT is greater than OP. This is second equation. From these two equations, I can conclude that OP is the shortest distance. Okay. So, from equation number 1 and 2, I can conclude that OP is shortest shortest distance, shortest line. In class 9th, we already proved that in chapter number 7, last exercise, last question, in that, show that the, all the line segments are drawn from a given point, not lie on it. The perpendicular distance is the shortest one. Okay? So that we can prove OP is the shortest line. The shortest line is already perpendicular to the given line. See now? The point O which is not lie on XY line. So when you draw a line from the point O, that line must be perpendicular to XY when it is shortest line. Okay. Therefore I can tell 
OP is perpendicular to XY. If you want to write that case, you can write it here. All the line segments drawn from given point not lie on it. The perpendicular line segment is shortest. By using these statements directly I have written OP is perpendicular to XY. So hence proved.